that rings true. Ancient cave dwellers drew spacecraft on the poles. It's a reoccurring theme. I've seen the same thing while walking late at night. You can advertise your business on Night Dreams Talk Radio and you will be heard worldwide. Why not contact us at nightdreamstalkradio at gmail.com. Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark wants to give a big shout out to all the truckers that listen to our show. From our compound, from the West Coast to the East Coast, to worldwide, both on the Internet and terrestrial radio, you're listening to Gary Anderson on Night Dreams Talk Radio, After Dark. And it is After Dark. Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Boy, the week is moving fast. It's already the middle of the week. James, are you out there? Yes, I am here. Gary, how are you doing this evening? 
I am doing very, very well. Except I almost took a a, a, a sleep there uh, playing that uh, music and then going into the intro for somehow I lost time. Maybe I was abducted by aliens and maybe I lost two minutes. <laughs> that could be. Listen, two minutes to them could be an hour to us. We don't know. I have no idea, especially at my age. So you had a great day today? Yeah, I did. I got some good exercise in, about warm myself out, and yeah, it was pretty good. It seventy degrees and beautiful. Oh wow! And I tell you, you got to get a car one of these days. You know that. Yeah, I know. And I'm working on that one. Well, but look, then I'd get, look, I'd get fat if I got one. Yeah, but look at the bright side. What you're doing, you're doing a lot for Earth. You know, because you're not putting out any, you know, emissions or. Well, you might be putting out emissions with what you eat. <laughs> but from the standpoint, you ride a bike, so there's no pollution. Well, except for what you eat. But, you know, I mean, you know, it's good exercise. You know, you're helping prolong the life of people on Earth by riding well, a bike. One, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. I guess I can't argue with that. Of course, my wife this morning told me where I could put it, too, but I can't say it over there. Oh, you mean it's somewhere besides the closet? Uh, well, about as big as the closet. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm not even going to touch that one. Do you know a dog <laughs> was lost about 400 miles away from its home, and it took it four years to, to find its way back home. Now, come on. That dog could have walked 400 miles in, in, you know, four years. Come on. The dog probably was just enjoying its new home for a while. It got bored. 40 years. That dog took a lot of pit stops and, and hung out with other dogs and families along the line. I mean, come on. Well, found, maybe it found a lot of fire hydrants. <laughs> that, that would be distracting if you was a dog, I would think. Seriously, I, especially. <laughs> I would think so. I mean, you know, you could lose track of time. Oh, look at that fire hydrant. That's bright yellow. No, but uh, seriously, I mean, oh, by the way, this bull in uh, Oregon. That, uh, well, I can say that aliens or something did something to it. You know, the, the cattle mutilation thing is going strong. You know, they now were talking today that they figured this bull wasn't laid down and had all the, you know, stuff done to it. It had to been alive when some of this stuff was being done. You know, the eyes were removed. The uh, udder was removed, the heart was removed, the tongue was removed, the angus was removed, and all this stuff, and they figured most of it was done while the, the poor bull was standing. And the reason why they figured that out, James, is because when the eyes were removed, there's liquid, you know, behind the eyes from the brain and all that stuff. It would have ran, if it was on its side, it would have ran off the side of the head. You know, uh, but instead, it, it, the the bull had... The drainage, it ran down its, uh, you know, uh, snout or nose or whatever you want to call it. It, 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 And that uh, showed proof that it was standing when the eyes were removed. Yeah, and, you know, if you're talking about the, from the Sylvie's Valley Ranch in uh, Garney County, Oregon, there was actually five bulls that were um, uh, dissected and, and uh it came out like that and those things cost about seven thousand dollars each on top of that too so it's you know um i don't know what's going on there but like you say there's no no trace of blood it's uh, very surgical and i also believe that they run it through they run them through like a scans that would uh, detect any metal in other words there was no gunshots there was no fragments from a knife or any metal knives or anything and everything was precisionly cut and um yeah, it's like it's very – then there's no car tracks. There's no animal tracks, no bite marks. And, you know, surgically removed are the genitals and, and maybe maybe the ears or some of the face or whatnot. But, yeah, these are all mysteries. And, you know, um, I believe that in that same area, like 40 years ago, the same phenomenon to, took place in that area also. It did, but the, the, the point is what – it is disturbing is that whatever these aliens are doing or whoever, I don't believe it's the military because you know what? The military could have all the cattle they want. OK, why would they have to go on other people's property to do their experiments? They just could go get them and, you know, bring them into the lab. So I, I rule the military out. 
you know, and there was no signs of helicopter or anything because it would have the brush and all that stuff would have caused it to blow away from the blades. Uh, so that is very interesting. But the, what's scary is that the ca- cattle, you know, uh, the bull was standing when most of this was going on. Could you imagine that the pain that poor creature was going through? makes me wonder you know it's a lot of these mutilations is the same way it shows that the animal was standing not laying down like on a table or anything like like calvin parker i mean they were like standing when this stuff was being done to them and and can you imagine it i mean that's scary that is scary and i think it kind of leads way to like their patterns and their mo's they don't really look at us or anything we're all just cattle we're just a a biological entity that they can experiment on or do whatever they want to do whenever they want to do it it's just boom you're there okay here we go you know let me stick your fingers up your nose and shove something in there and cut something off of you and extract something from you and probe you with this over here and then you know uh erase your memory and send you back on your way it's just it's it is scary it is i mean that is, you know some people say that these aliens show compassion but when you show compassion to a cow or to a bull or to an elk or whatever you're doing you know this is not the first time where they have come out and claimed that the animals were standing when all this stuff was going on to them i mean could you imagine somebody removing your eyes while you're standing and then removing, you know, all the other stuff while you're still alive? Uh, exactly. And and some of them, they weren't even, some of them, were, it appears that they were dropped. Not the, not in this case, but there has been other cases where it appears like they've been dropped from, from several hundred feet from the air because there's indentation in the ground. Well, they, that, they're done with them. They got what they wanted. But, you know, I'm thinking, you know, some of the Japanese and, and some of the... Um, Chinese and other cultures, okay, like the Vietnamese, certain parts of animals that we would, you know, find um, totally disgusting, you know, they pay a fortune for it. Seriously. You know, like, you know how much a a bull penis is worth uh, in the Orient? I mean, they look at that as something like how you look at going to the doctor and saying, hey, I need something to spice up my life. I I got this erection problem and they'll give you a pill. Well, some of these countries and 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 places, they look at certain parts of animals that, you know, hey, that will do the same thing. That's what they think. So uh, 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 a penis from a bull could be worth thousands of dollars. Exactly. Well, it is in some places, in rhino horns and all kind of exotic stuff, because it goes back to their old folklore magic or whatever. But um, I, I just think it's something that's in your head, because I don't think that eating a bull penis is going No, but change. I'm just saying, maybe these aliens, they, they're looking at certain parts, because isn't it strange? They're taking the eyes, okay? They're, they're removing the heart. They're removing the penis. They're taking the... the utters off of uh, you know and some of the stuff they're removing you know it, it's it's strange why they need that type of stuff i mean if you're gonna do something i mean you i think you if you're gonna do an autopsy with a uh with cattle or or a human you want the whole body but it seems like they only want certain key things and they drain the blood so the blood must be very important because there's yeah. no signs of any blood next to these animals when they've been, you know, uh, mutilated. So maybe that blood is, like, very precious to them. Absolutely. That's, I was just going to say, you're right there. And, it, and there's a uh, consistency through most of these cases. Like you said, the genitals are missing, the eyes, maybe an ear or part of the mouth or something. But it's pretty much consistent down the line with the... 